towns that continue to grow. But city leaders say their infrastructure isn't keeping up with demand there. So they're now turning to citizens for help. Two News reporter Asia Vickers is live in the newsroom with more on their efforts. Asia. Well, Marla, on Tuesday, both towns will be voting on these bond issues. Officials hope residents vote yes so they can move the cities forward. On Tuesday, Broken Arrow residents will decide whether to approve a $44.7 million bond issue. Mayor Mike Lester is trying to get the word out. Uh, we just certainly encourage everybody to get out. It's uh, important for the growth of Broken Arrow. If approved, the money will fund improvements for roads and drainage. It will also go towards upgrades to Nine House Park, along with infrastructure to the new event center that hasn't been built yet. Public safety will also see improvements, as the money will allow the city to use the Armed Forces Reserve Center to house police, fire, and emergency management crews under one roof. Not going to raise taxes. Bigsby is also having a similar vote Tuesday with a $10 million bond issue that will go towards public safety, transportation, and parks. More specifically, that includes road and intersection improvements to ease congestion along Mingo and Memorial. It also includes additions to the Bentley Sports Complex, as well as reinforcing the second floor of City Hall so it can be used by the police department. Just like Broken Arrow, this bond issue will not raise taxes. It's basically going to take Bixby into the 21st century, we think. I am planning to vote. Kyle Burchard agrees. He especially likes improvements that will be made to local parks. So this is a, a, a young community. It's um, a lot of uh, people moving in with young kids. The school system's growing, so they'll need the uh, infrastructure to continue to support that. Back in Broken Arrow, some residents say they haven't decided which way to vote. But Kathy Maine says she has her mind made up. I think it'd be a good thing to vote for it. I do. Both bond issues need 51% of the vote to pass. Now voters will head to the polls on Tuesday. They'll be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Asia Vickers, 2 News works for you.